I'm now on Instagram, so make sure you follow me in the kitchen with Kate. I'll be posting behind the scenes, food inspiration, and the things I like to bake. Today I'm making a vanilla St. Patrick's Day cake. To start, prepare three 8 inch 20 centimeter cake tins. For the sponge, beat all of your dry ingredients on low into your butter until it forms a sandy consistency. In a bowl or a jug, whisk together your eggs, milk and vanilla extract. Gradually pour in two thirds of your wet mixture into your dry and stir on a low speed until just incorporated. Scrape down your bowl to get any of the remaining ingredients from around the edges and gradually pour in the rest of your milk. Once again, scrape down your bowl to make sure nothing gets left on the sides. Turn the mixture to a medium speed and beat until smooth and everything is incorporated. Try not to overbeat. Preheat your oven to 150 degrees fan. For other temperatures, they'll be listed here. Pour your mixture evenly into three tins, filling no higher than two thirds full. Smooth the top with a spatula and then bake in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. Once baked, let it cool in the tin for 5 minutes and then transfer to a wire rack to let it cool completely. For the buttercream, sift the icing into a big bowl and beat in your butter. Add your vanilla to your milk and pour it into your bowl. Make sure you scrape down your bowl to get everything from the edges. Once it's all combined, turn your mixer to high and beat for about five to six minutes until it's light, fluffy and paler in colour. To assemble the cake, place your first layer onto a 10 centimetre in diameter cake board with a little layer of buttercream to help keep it in place. Add a dollop of buttercream and smooth it to the edges. I've chosen to go for a raspberry filling, but you can choose your favourite flavour and spread on top of your buttercream, making sure you leave an inch round the side so it doesn't splodge out the sides later. Repeat with the next layer and place your final layer on top. Because we are going to decorate with fondant, I'm going to use the remaining buttercream to create a crumb coat which will give us a nice smooth finish. Sprinkle some corn flour onto your work surface to stop the fondant from sticking and give your fondant a knead to soften it. To decorate, roll out your green fondant, making sure it's big enough to cover the cake. Using a rolling pin to help, place the fondant onto your cake and using your hands, smooth it down at the top and sides. Trim around the cake board to make a neat edge. Next, roll out your black fondant and cut a long strip one to two inches thick. Lightly wet the back so it will stick to your cake and carefully wrap it around. Knead your yellow fondant and roll out to two millimeters thick. Cut a rectangle out of the fondant and then with the remaining fondant create a rectangle with the middle missing. Slightly wet the back to help it stick to the cake. For the clovers, using a heart shaped cutter, cut out three hearts. For the stalk, just cut out a triangle shape and glue them onto the cake with some water. I decided to add some coins by using the back of a piping nozzle to create a coin shape. 
So that's St. Patrick's Day vanilla cake. Easy. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and feel free to leave any requests in the comment box below.